Hi, is this is Debbie. I'm going to try my first Dollar Tree haul. Uh, normally when I go to Dollar Tree and I come home, everything gets put away. And so I'm not used to it. So I will just show you what I got. Uh, first I'll show you the food things. And so we got some nuts, honey roasted nuts. And I found that the Dollar Tree's ranch dressing, this brand, uh, what's it called? Riverton Valley. I like to eat carrots, baby carrots, and this is really good ranch dressing. And some sunflower seed kernels. Those are always good for munching on. And my husband, he likes his butterscotch pudding, so we got two of those. Okay, now for the fun stuff, because I went looking for crafting stuff. Am I not? I'm probably not looking at the camera right. I'm going to get used to it. I found lots of goodies. First thing I found was, I don't know what you call them. They're stickers with gems, got blue ones, and pink ones. I did. The window is right behind, so it might have a little glare green ones and red ones and I saw someone try out this glitter glue so I thought I would try it and I thought the colors were very pretty and what else? a glue stick I'm not sure I want to get some paper to stick on like Memdex cards and I don't know if this is what you would use. Just regular like a kid's kind of glue stick. I'm assuming that would work. I have tacky glue that I got there one time before. Oh and then I found this one. It's like adhesive spray. Well it's probably backwards on there. I don't know how to make it not backwards. But it says it works on paper, wood, cardboard, and more. And I want to work on cardboard and paper, so I figured that would work. And oh, I also got some readers. These are for doing my nails because I need stronger. I wear reading glasses on the bottom of my glasses. The top is just for a little bit of distance. And uh, when I try to do my nails, I can't see, so I use these kind. And these are 2.75 and so uh, and I just did my nails the color street nails you know, I do a terrible job but I try and I also got this because last time this is the 100% acetone nail polish remover because the last time I tried to take the color street off with it had glitter and I, it took me forever, so I figured I needed acetone because I was using non-acetone. Um, let's see what else. Oh, these are so cute. These little, they're felt stickers and they're kind of squishy. And there's, um, looks like pumpkins and cats. I'm just going to rip it open so I can see them. Oh, the cats are cute. A little cat. And what else do we have? And bats. Oh, he's cute. A little purple bat. And see there, you know, can you tell it's kind of foam and squishy? And a little jack o' lantern. Get my fingers on there. Jack o' lantern. Am I putting it up to the camera? Okay. I think that might be all. I guess there's a different kind of jack o' lantern. Here's a yellow. Yellow background jack o' lantern. Okay, now I've got them all spilled. That's okay. And these ones are little owls. I would rip them out too. Let's see what they look like. Oh, they're so cute. This little owl. Okay. Oh, this one's cute. Oh, he's got little feet, a little beak. I think he's the same. He's the same. This one looks, this one kind of, the first one I think looks kind of like he's a baseball, but I don't think he is. He's just an owl. 
and this little guy. And Pip is going and trying to go in the closet behind me. And this little owl. I think he's the same. Is this his friend? Yeah, they're twins. Okay, they're all over my lap now. And one other, well, two other things. I got these cute, teeny, tiny little clothes pins. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but they were too cute, and I think I can use them. And then my husband found me, because this is what I was really looking for, was some kind of paper, because I'm in some challenges to make Mendex cards, and, which I'm still not sure if I'm doing it right. Oh, the bottom opens. Ah, I cut, cut it and the bottom opens. But this says paper pack. And that's what I was looking for. Paper. And it has got all kinds of paper in here. It's just scraps, which is exactly what I wanted. There's some green sparkly. Some, oh, that's kind of leathery looking. It's purple. Purple or navy. It's kind of got a shimmer to it. And there's a bunch. This is like uh, pink and red paper or burgundy paper. Oh, this is a treasure. And this one. And this looks like just cardboard, which I've been cutting up tissue boxes, so I have cardboard. Black. This one's pretty. Gold paper. Really glary. Pink paper. And little little tiny squares. This one's kind of textured. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. And lots and lots of little pieces. Oh, here's a really pretty one. Oh, my, this is really pretty. I don't know if you can see it's kind of leaves. Maybe that one looks better. And then there's a green one like that, too. Yeah. And a bunch, a bunch of pink, um, and some more of that, that textury kind of looks kind of like, reminds me of a graham cracker. And some blue, and some squares. So that was exactly what I needed, because I need some kind of paper. And I've got owls and cats all over my lap. Okay, let's see, I have one other thing. And this is actually from Walmart, because we did go to Walmart, and I found my favorite cookies, the Stella Doro, um, what do they call them, breakfast treats, and they kind of have an almond taste, they remind me of Christmas, and I always love them. And this cookie candy, and then I found another thing I like, the root beer barrels. So I'm hoping these are as good as the kind I used to eat, and that I love. And then at the checkout, there was something I couldn't quite figure it out. It says Skittles. Only one rainbow matters during Pride. So, and it's like, I'm sure it's backwards here, but see, it's all gray colored. And then it still shows the, color, the things on the back, but I don't know if they're going to be gray. So, should I open it? I think I'll open it because that's what I do. Scissors, and the mystery will be solved. There they are. They're all gray. Oh, well, now I'm pouring it in my hand. It's kind of hard. They are all gray. So I guess when you eat them, it will be a mystery. But I love Skittles, so that's okay. And now they're stuck to my hand. So I have a big mess here on the and one other thing I was going to show you, I actually got this, um, this is about crafting, it's not about uh, hauling. Uh, see this little template to make a, to make a, what's the thing called, Memdex car? And it was Pop Fizz Paper, her name is Danny, and she has this uh, a tutorial to make this Memdex car template, so for any of you like me who have no idea what you're doing uh, go to her site uh, yeah pop 
pop, oh, it's going to be backwards, pop, fizz, F-I-Z-Z, -Z, paper at YouTube, and her name is Danny, but she just looked for the tutorial. She, I think pop fizz paper is like a brand or something, but anyway, I made that, and then I made, what did I do with them? I made a bunch of them. Just out of, this is tissue box. Okay, just made it. These are mailers from the casino. <laughs> I figured they're cardboard. And it's from ice cream cone box and more tissue boxes. So I made a whole bunch of them. And then I also, because I was working on trying to figure out how to make an index card for um, a challenge, and I don't know if you can make them tall, but this one is actually from the box that my flamingos in my yard came from. But it's much taller, and I didn't want to cut his legs off, which you see, he's much, quite a bit taller. Well, maybe you can't see that way. This way you can see how much taller it is. So I'm not sure if that's allowed, to, if they could be that tall or if I should cut his legs off. So any of you that do Memdex cards, tell me if I should maybe shorten it so he is just to right here and cut off his legs. So let me know. You know, um, I don't know who, who makes Memdex cards. All, pretty much everybody does, <laughs> but me. So anyway, that's all I have. And I guess I will go, and uh, hopefully the fan in the back isn't too loud, and hopefully I'm looking at the right place. So uh, if you want to see more hauls, just let me know. And when I get working on the Memdex cards, I'll probably show those and uh, figure out who I have to mail them to, because I completely forgot. I've made like little, little cards with the different channels I watch, and and I have a notebook that I write things down in with challenges. There's When Life with Patty I'm doing and the Butterfly Crafter, Dana. And there was somebody else, but I have lost it in my book here somewhere. I've been really unorganized. So anyway, uh, hopefully this isn't too long. And I will see you next time, hopefully doing a craft. Because I have the thing to hold the camera. So... I'll be doing a craft. So if you like this, subscribe if you haven't already. What else do they say? Hit the like button, the like button, and uh, the bell. Ding, ding, ding. And okay, bye.